What's good? It's your boy Jose Hustle. You tuned in to Jose Hustle TV season two. Y'all already knew that shit, man. Well, well, look, I'm back. I know I done been away from my fans, follow subscribers. I am back, as y'all see in the old little scenery, you know what I'm saying? Got the fresh cut and everything. I, okay, okay, look. I know I said I was going grizzly bear, but a very, very financial opportunity came about, and so I had to do something to make sure I got that opportunity, and that involved cutting my hair. But I know y'all and I am not, not liking that, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all want Jose to hustle like he says it in his name, so that's what I was doing. But look, today we have a very special topic, a very important topic that's been going on all, all over the blog sites, all over the music sites. It's like the shit epidemic is crazy, it's stupid. Rappers in jail. It's like... All of you, the best rappers out right now are in jail or are going to jail. It's like, what's the deal, man? I'm trying to find out. So, you know, this is what I need y'all to do. Sit back, relax, cut your TVs off, turn your phones off, take your iPod, earplugs, all that bullshit out. You know what I'm saying? And check out Jose House TV because we're going in. I'll see y'all. Well, look, the first rapper that is currently in jail right now is Little Boosie. I, I mean, I personally like him. He appeals to the hood niggas. He's hype. You know what I mean? He is in jail for like four or five different things. He was already going to jail for weapons and weed charges. You know what I'm saying? He was already going to be down for that. But then he goes and violates house arrest. No one you're supposed to stay in the house. No matter how many shows you got. No matter how many appearances you're supposed to make. Just say stay in the house. God damn it. You need to stay in the house. You may think you're getting the money and you're getting over the judge. The judge sitting back. No, no, little Boosie. No, uh, uh, uh. You're not a badass now, are you? You're in the cell block now, are you? Yeah, little Boosie. I mean, like, it's cool to rap about the shit. Rap about you got the guns, you got the weed, you thug and you do all you want. But when you actually being about it, that is the... That is the issue. That's the problem. Now, nah, niggas be like, man, I ain't no real nigga. You want to rap about that, man? You ain't living that shit. Fuck living that shit. Fuck being a real nigga. If it means me going to jail and not having my own freedom, fuck that shit. LaBoost made a dumb mistake. You know, I hate to see him in this situation because he's really hot right now. He's really starting to make a move and make a mold in the industry. But, you know, dumb decisions is not a good image to project. The second one is my favorite rapper out right now. Y'all probably know who that is. Gucci Mane LaFleur. Like, this, he's in jail for stupidity. Alright, it's like, you just, you went to jail for violating probation once. And you got out on good behavior. Alright, and you set the streets on fire while you was in jail. You set the streets on fire when you got out. Alright, you're out. You, you done suffered them consequences once before. And now you're going back for the same reason. Why, Gucci? Why? It's like... I mean, we you're starting to blow up big time. When you're doing songs with Mariah Carey, you're blowing up, all right? Like, the nigga was taking over the scene, but he's in back in jail, violating probation. The streets gonna miss you, dog. It's like, you went in, you went out. You go in, you go out. Do you enjoy it in jail or something? Is it something, is it something that you like? I don't understand it. You know what I mean? So, you know you're not supposed to be smoking and drinking. Why do it, Gucci? I mean, I know that's how you make your beautiful music, but why, man? Think about your future, not your present, all right? Remember, you got a lot of people looking up to you, but not more than the next person I'm about to suggest. Well, not suggest, but discuss. Lil Wayne. Now, this is a sad story right here. I mean, this is really sad because Lil Wayne has had drug problems and issues, but this, when you have money, you can push the case back. But this is no worse time to, for the case to come about. A gun charge is stemming from New York back in 2007. Where are your people at? Your people who on the bus with you are supposed to take that charge. Reevaluate your team. Reevaluate your niggas. Then if your niggas was loyal, they don't want to stop the cash cap. They don't want to stop the incoming source of cash flow. But instead of them not taking the charge, but you're taking the charge, nobody's going to eat while you're away. And not only does he have eight months in jail, he has to cut off his dreads. And you know, Lil Wayne already looks like a Martian. Now he's going to really look like E.T. when he gets those dreads cut off. But not only that, he has drug charges stemming from Arizona with cocaine, ecstasy, pound of weed, two, un uh, two unregistered pistols. Can it get any worse? Like, what the fuck, Wayne? And you know, when you're in jail, it's going to be really hard to get your drugs. So being sober, I remember Wayne rapping when he was sober, he wasn't the rapper that he is now. 
You know what I'm saying? So he's gonna come out of jail as a different person. May not the best artist, but a different person. And so like, we don't know how the game is gonna change. But my point is, all the rappers are in jail. All the good music is going behind the balls. We don't need that. We have youth looking up to people, these entertainers, these actors, and these rappers. This is not a good image to project. This is showing that I want to go to jail just because Lil Wayne did. You already got everybody getting tatted up and joining gangs. But now you got everybody wanting to get high and coked up and go to jail too. It's not shaking in the streets, dog. It's not what's hidden. Then you got Lil Boosie on interviews with people telling him, Keep your head up, man, man, fuck you and all that shit. Like, he's scared. He's afraid. Like, he's a regular person. He probably never experienced jail. He's afraid of jail. He has four years behind the bars. Like, come on. Remember what you're doing. All the rappers are in jail. I don't know how I'm going to survive without my Gucci and without my Wayne music. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to do it. So who's going to step up to the plate? Who's going to provide it? If you think you can provide it, let me know. I'll get you on the show. We can see what you're talking about. But until then, that's today's show. The rappers are in jail, man. We need to do something about this. It's not the police fault, the law are doing their job, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking up for them, I'm not hating them, not defending them. But if you do wrong, don't expect not to get caught. Remember that, word to the wise, those that have told you first. But listen, yeah, like I told you, new segment on my show, we have a three-way tie of the ballers of the week. So, let me see, I want to start out with my big homies, uh, Brandon Brown from Lipscomb University. He balled out, he had 26 and 10. The other night when I was at the game, live, man, I ain't never seen no shit like that. He had 13 of the team's first 16 points. Like, nah, how's it? Like, he's 6'10", right? 270, right? A beast in that post. I've never seen no shit like that. I done seen a lot of basketball in my life, but he's he's balling. He's in top consideration of baller of the week, man. Like, his stat lines are stupid. Then we got Brandon Jennings, the young sensation who dropped 55 points I and five rebounds and five assists. I personally didn't think he could do it all, but I, you know what I'm saying, I think, you know what I'm saying, I'm a fan now. So he needs to return the favor and be a fan of me. So if you drop your uh, votes in the comments and shit like that to determine the baller of the week, and I will get them on the show, and we'll have all that good shit. Shouts out to Jose Hustle. Shouts out to my main man, PJ, for thank you for letting me host the hip hop conference at Tuskegee University. It was very well and swell event, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Cashville, shouts out to my parents, shouts out to, you know what I mean, Cody, Cody Cartel, aka Cody Rari, Mike Lyon, you know what I mean, Jay Bugatti, Glow Manzarati, Jose Hustle, I'm out, you know what I mean? So y'all, God bless and stay up. New Jose Hustle shirts in, God bless.